On a hilly street in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, tucked into the mountainside, is a foreboding, hand-cut stone building. The old jail museum, reported to be the home of ghostly silhouettes and orbs of bright light, dark shadowy figures, and the feeling of being touched and physically being pushed. Over the years, these and much more have been reported. Completed in 1871 by architect Edward Havlin, the jail was known up until 1995 as the Carbon County Prison. And for those of you history buffs, you might recognize the name Havlin, for it was John Havlin, Edward's father, who was the architect for the infamous Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, PA. It's here at the old jail that our story begins. From the treatment of prisoners to the hangings from the rope gallows, these foreboding walls of gloom hold secrets. The massive door in front of me weighs approximately a thousand pounds. It's made of three layers of oak and one layer of sheet iron. It closed with a thud behind me. I turned and looked back, aware of the sound of finality in my ears the sound that each prisoner heard year after year when they came to this prison. The cast iron staircase, although decorative, appeared to swallow the cell doors and rooms above and below them. The library on the top cell block is purposed to be the place where people have been pushed and touched. The dungeon is in the basement of the jail. Used for solitary confinement, a prisoner was held here for two weeks or longer, passing lonely nights and days with only one meal of bread and water per day. Back up on the main cell block now, and seven feet above me, the gallows stare me down. This is the exact spot where the original gallows once stood the exact spot where four men hung from ropes tightened around their necks and dangled three feet from the ground when the gallows floors opened up. Is the jail house haunted? Do its memories and secrets seep through the stone and iron? Clinging to the iron railing, lingering inside and on the doorway of a cell, and floating in the center hall of the dungeon, are transparent orbs I caught on my digital camera. Take a close look at them. Those of you who are skeptic might say they are specks of dust or droplets of moisture illuminating back at me. Perhaps you will say my flash caused the anomalies that day. For those who believe, and for those who don't believe, the old jail is worth a visit, and I am going back again.